Why do you believe in social science? Jesus? Why do I? Because I I've used it. I've seen it change. I've, I you know it's it's just a part of who I am. All these these elements of of how humans can work with each other. You know, I've, I've been in the in the trenches. I spent most of my life in the trenches. I've got the scars to prove it. <laughs> and these are the these uh, in all my life of the things that I've learned. Social artistry and the flow project and the power of narrative have been the three things. They're the three legs of the stool. Yeah. You know, without with one missing, it's not. So I spent most of my life trying to find a third leg. I had the narrative piece, right? And I had the, the flow piece, but I didn't have the social artistry piece. Mm -hmm. And once I got the social artistry piece, now I have the, the stability of the three-legged stool, you know? And so that's the why. is It's about balance. Yeah. It's, a, it's completely about balance. What's the role of community in allowing people the permission and the ability to get engaged? The role of community? Yeah. Um, well, I think part of it is, is, is the issue of teaching tolerance. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was a, a teacher in a little town called Ferndale, we had a situation of uh, skateboards on the sidewalks. And the townspeople were down on it. You know, it's got to be very ugly. It was very ugly. So it was a town meeting called. And we got the community, the whole community together, representatives of the community, even the skateboarders were there, and yelling back and forth and all this anger, right? And I was facilitating this gladi gladiatorial, if that's a word, event. And so I said, calm down, okay, so let's, let's, let's get each individual. So, so, you know, the shop owners told their story about how they were concerned that the skateboard kids would hit people that were coming out of their stores and hurt them. And the, the um, parents were talking stories about their kids getting hurt, and the kids were, we should have a right to have skateboards and all this stuff. And this Stella, this little, little lady, again, not her real name, but she stands up. Can I say something? Well, and she looks right at the kind of the ringleader of the skateboard. She says, well, I don't, I don't really mind if you skateboard on the sidewalk, but when you're coming down the sidewalk and you're coming so fast, and if you hit me, you hurt me. And she goes, oh, like this. <laughs> you hurt me. <laughs> and um, this this tough kid, he looks at this woman, and he's, and he's going, like, his tears in his eyes. He goes, Grandma, I would never hurt you. And, and, and so the, it's like everybody's going, oh my God, you know, they're crying. So we got, we got the conversation going about what's really important here. And as a community, so what's really important is safety for the elders, safety for the people walking the sidewalks, and safety for the kids. So that they came together as a community and said, how can we make this a situation where everybody is safe? It's a community agreement. Mm -hmm. And that's the role of community, is, is the willingness to come together and agree on what's important. Mm. The, the end of that story was this fellow stood up and he said, uh, he said, well, you know, I just bought the old lumber um, business just over the bridge on the edge of town, which is very close, and uh, I fenced it. He said, but I'll tell you what, I will be willing to take the gates off and the kids can skate in the parking lot. They can make their ramps and do whatever they want as long as there's no drugs and no illegal behavior and no alcohol. He said, you guys can just have that for as long as it's sitting there um, until I start developing it. But you can have that place to skate nice. and you'll be safe. It was fenced. The police went by on a regular basis anyway, so the kids, there was some oversight there. It solved the problem. I mean, the kids had a place to skate. Everybody got what they needed, which was to be safe. And it only happened because the community was willing to come together, be in that place of conflict and resistance, right? And then move past that to a common agreement. Yeah. And once they had the common agreement, it was easy to solve the problem.